just doing the two bob stuff. And uh, we played it on XFM for about three weeks before we worked out that there was what a waste of you two bob lyrics. So there you go, we proved them wrong. We actually got on radio. Not that we actually knew we were doing it, but uh, quality track that one. Yeah, quality track that one. I get along, nice to see you put that on the track listing as well. Yeah, that's a different version. Though. Yeah, no, I noticed that. A couple of extra BVs. Slightly warmer version. It's like the raw version. Warm, and warmer, yeah. yeah. It's, it's all warmer, isn't it? It's a wicked sounding record, you know, and uh, obviously deciding to work with uh, Mick Jones wasn't a, a move of divine inspiration. Uh, Whose call cool was that? The entire band's? I think it was Mick's idea. Really? Yeah. <laughs> How'd you get to know him? Uh, just, he just turned up one day, and we thought he was just, you know, someone trying to get out the cold, to turn up in our house with him, <laughs> with a, a can of beer and a dog. I know him, dog. It was a rabbit. What are you talking about? You know. <laughs> he, had, he, had, he had a can of beer, and you know, he's, he's got a little dance he does. So you, you know, if it's going well, if he's doing his little dance, and if he's if Mick ain't dancing, then he's not. Well, everyone's got a flash pad on a part like what I got. <laughs> I just think you're doing that. Well, oh, well, boys, that's really great, boys. Really great. I'm really happy to be working with you. All. <laughs> Halo rocks, rocks, R A W K S, rock music. Uh, one band, past or present, you'd most like to do a tour with, and why? Uh, Mersey Beats. Mersey Beats. The Lars. Yeah. Uh, Metal Girl 666. If there's one song in the Metal world Girl you wished you'd wrote, what song would it be? I always flirt with death while in the kill, but I don't care about it. And I hear cars threats. I stand up straight and tall and shout about it. Oh, I'm on another world with you. <laughs> another girl, another planet by the only ones. I actually did write that, but <laughs> I realised later that I've done something similar. It's a great song. MC Hamster, what's your favourite joke? The MC Hamster. MC Hamster. MC Hamster. Oh, yeah. What's the name of that German Chancellor? What's his name? Otto... Who's the first German Chancellor? Otto von... I don't know. Biz... German um, politics. Biz Biz Bismarck? Mark? Electric guards, only a couple of crazy here! No, seriously though, what was his name? No, I don't know. I don't know what he's on about. Biz... Bismar... Then a K, isn't it? I don't know. Bismar... What was that? Then a K. <coughs> Bismar... See? Huh? Bismar... 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 Electric guards, only a couple of crazy here! They gave me this and all. Got to find a free headwear. Nice. Where's the other one, look? Where'd you go? Ooh, enough. Sugar Honey wants to know what marshmallows do you like better, pink or white? Do you eat marshmallows? I don't for a while, but I'd go for pink. Go for pink. Carlos? Uh, I think white. Someone also asked, Carlos, where's my tie? Do you know anything about that? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> it's in the void. Yeah, Carlos, sorry for things like that. No. Yeah. What tie? That tie that girl gave you to wear and you lost it. Yeah, everybody give me tires, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, man, we're no tires. Yeah, that's a rat cake, got to be nice. Oh, no, it was not a rat. Yeah, I told her I lost it. I don't know what she's asking Zane. You got some serious old uh, uh, Rico Suave thing going on there with that bandana on, man. Galito. Rico Rico love me, <laughs> <laughs> That's a ticket. Yeah, that's alright, though, isn't it? Nice. Get that Greek pop star look. It's good. <laughs> There's so many serious questions that people ask you. Normally they're absolute rubbish, but these, a lot of these are really good, man. A lot of people really, obviously really feel your band. Meeble Monkey, uh, the twins in your video, did you find them working in a shop in Camden? Is that no, true? No, our manager found them. No, I found them. I found them in this little club. I found them in this, it was a liar's gig. I don't know what we're doing there. Oh, yeah. But our manager said, yeah, find those people for our video. Go and go and ask all these girls who's on the video. So I go to these girls go, hey, do you want to be in the video? Ah, there you go, man. <laughs> and they go, and they go, Hey? <laughs> <laughs> but that's the line though, isn't so, it? Do we get paid? That's the line that you always want to go at rock, isn't it? Do you want to be in a music video? Yeah, we'll be we trying it for the next one. It's a good video, man. It came out real nice, I think. Yeah, I can't watch it myself. But... Really? Yeah. Well, it's just you get too embarrassing yourself on camera having to act up for the... Possibly. Yeah. I think it came out real nice. I think a lot of people, when they, when they we knew that the video was coming in, was expecting it to be a lot more lo-fi and a lot more cheaper looking, but it's actually come across looking real sweet. Oh, it's really cheap. It's yeah, really cheap. Yeah, no, it was in yeah, our front room. It's in our house. And but you know, street. you see a girl who dances really funny? Yeah. Yeah, that's Tabitha, he's my mate. She was like this. But she, that's how she dances in real life. Though. A lot of people think that's Emma B from Radio 1, actually. I think so. And the B. <laughs> this girl from Radio 1, she looks a little bit like her, apparently. Did she do People on the message board. Probably in private. In the privacy of her own home. Uh, this is a bit of an odd question, so you might take offence at this, but Benny wants to know, do you find Tom Jones' voice strangely and worryingly erotic? 
21st and you got this big sort of co-headline tour, well, support tour with Supergrass and stuff. Is it, you know, you enjoying it? Is it everything you thought it would be when you started up the band? Well, the thing is, the, mainly the nature of this band, and it's had quite a few members over the years, and the nature of our relationship, it's something that tends to, we could be in any environment, we could be signed or unsigned. Yeah. It's something that's just there as it is, and that's the world we live in. We could be still doing what we were doing before, and we'll be doing something different tomorrow, but as long as we're together, then... Arcadia exists, and or we can make it even for five minutes. Yeah, you see what I mean. Last gang in town. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> but you know, you know what I mean, though, don't you? It doesn't. All, all that is like superfluous unless you just commit to the idea of being a star or selling a million. It doesn't matter as long as you've still got what you set out with, which was the dream. Yeah. You know. And what happens if you get to that point where you sell a million and become stars? Do you think it's going to be harder to hold I on to that? I can't really, in, in I don't know, I can't, it's, there's part of me that can't envisage that happening just because of the nature of the music and the things we say. Mm. It's hard to imagine like a million people singing along. But if they do then, I won't deny that I'd be, I'd be another aspect of the arcade engine. It'd be like a step beyond what we imagined. Yeah. Which was some kind of enclosed, libertarian, worldwide uh, commune of the soul, I suppose.